Hello stylers, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today's video, oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so this is out the way. Today's video is a restyle, a Nadia DIY yeah. style for I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. I <laughs> literally don't know. Today's video, I made this beautiful jumpsuit for my friend Crystal. Yes, hello everybody. You guys probably know Crystal from my, some of my blogs or from my Snapchat or Instagram. If you haven't been following me, get your life. Yes. Get your life. Get it. Today. So, so for her birthday, I reached yes. out, refreshing this old dress with yes. this beautiful print that we both was obsessed with into this dope ass jumpsuit. Yes. Like, you like the jumpsuit? Oh, yes. I love it. This was like a birthday gift. And I would just absolutely love it. I just love how she just created something just was so old, like 20 years old. And did a whole jumpsuit out of it. I'm like, all right, girl, get it. I'm loving what a pocket is. I know, like, me these too. Pockets are everything. Yes. Are they so far down here? That's what I like about them. Like, you just be sitting there, you be like, somewhere your hands to go. Know, that's always like, a problem. We don't know where to put our hands. You just be mm -hmm. like, what? No, no, that's. That's how I'm feeling. Really that's, how I'm, that's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling. Yeah. So if you guys are interested to in see how I restyled, repurposed yeah. this old dress into this dope ass jumpsuit, yeah. then please stay tuned. If you have any questions or any suggestions or you just want to say hi to me or Crystal, please leave that in the comment box below. Yeah. Um, Crystal information, her Snapchat information, yes. if she deems to share that with you guys, I will, will you be guys. I want you in the description box. Mm -hmm. Don't stalk my friend. Don't don't stalk her. Don't stalk my friend. But yes, guys, if you're mm -hmm. guys interested to in see how we style this, I'm so yes. excited. This is my first DIY for someone else. Like, I feel proud of myself yes. about that. I'm happy. I just made. I just learned how to make shorts like two months ago, and I'm already making a jumpsuit. Yeah. I'm moving too fast. I'm doing too much. Okay, guys. So we're gonna let you guys go because we're outside and it's getting real noisy. The neighborhood is waking up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching Stella. Thank you so much for commenting, following, subscribing, sharing. I love you guys and always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Okay, Stylers, here is what the garment looks like before I start to cut it. As you can see, it's a tank, a simple tank dress. No has no type of shape whatsoever. And it has two layers, and you can see the pockets are pretty down. Um, right at the thighs we like that part and the top layer has is like this split with splits um, so it's like a split tank dress don't really know what to call it but we was assessed with the uh, pattern as well as the material so here you can see me I'm going in and just marking where I want to fix the neckline just bring it down a little bit I didn't like the quite square type neckline we kind of wanted to go for like a v neckline as you can see me here i'm bringing in the sides because it was a little loose didn't really have much shape on her and i'm just bringing in the sides slightly not too much i don't want it tight we wanted that casual effortless um type of style so here I am, I am beginning the busy work of seam ripping um, apart, deconstructing the actual dress. And I seam ripped um, up to the part where the armhole and neckline is, and that sucker was, those two layers was on there. Like, I would have been forever tr me trying to seam rip it once I find a way to seam rip it. So I just end up cutting away the top layer from the bottom layer, and then I'm going to cut away all um, the actual seam that holds the two layers together and just um, do a simple um, roll and tuck hem to clean away all of the, the stray and cutting uneven pieces. So as you see here are the two pieces laid out now i am just going to um mark i went ahead and transferred the marks that i made on the top layer from when i had it on crystal and i'm going to transfer them to the bottom layer since i will be working with the bottom layer to create the jumpsuit
Now that I have did all my markings for exactly where I want everything to hit as far as bringing it in, bringing it out, I'm going to mark exactly where I want to cut it so I can split this dress in half so I can have the top half and the bottom half of my jumpsuit. And I'm using a jumpsuit that Krista already had that fit her well. As you can see, there are two different materials, two different styles. And the one that Crystal had is a little bit more form-fitting because it's a stretchy material where the fabric for this dress is not stretchy. So I will be making alterations so that the, it fits suited her. Now I'm sorry I didn't I, I didn't film where I cut the top of the dress off the top of the jumpsuit or where I filmed where I cut out the pants section. I basically just. Now you can see me here, I am just marking um, the neckline, folding the top of the dress in half so it could be the top of the jumpsuit and just recreating that neckline and I'm pinning where exactly I marked so I could bring in the sides of the tank so it's a little bit more fitted. Now I am going ahead and sewing the crotch area of creating the pants out of the dress. And you wanna start at the crotch area cause you wanna make sure that crotch lines up more than the legs itself if your legs and you get to the bottom of the hem is the, if that's uneven that is fine most important you want to make sure that crotch lines up you don't want no walkiness in your crotch area i know you love how i keep saying crotch but this is important so i did it just a basic stage stitch down the down the sides of the legs and as you can see me here i have tried it on crystal once again um, I'm just seeing how everything hits. The reason why she's holding it up is because it's become a jumpsuit and I have to put a waistband in it. But I'm just seeing how everything hits and we're just discussing on whether the crotch area situation. She did how I like it fit. It was a little too uh, high. It was a little too low so I gave her like this drop crotch situation and we didn't want that. So I'm going to go back and I'm gonna mark exactly where I got a cut up to it so it's a little bit more even and symmetrical. Then now I am going taking my elastic and I'm matching it around her waist and then around the bottom of her leg where she wants the hem. She wants it to be fitted towards the bottom of her, um, right at her ankle. So this is the top of the jumpsuit and the bottom of the jumpsuit pinned together so I can see how everything looks once together. And right now we're just marking because at first I thought it would be cute to have like a little, um, some cutouts around the front and the sides. I decided against that later on. I felt like the jumpsuit didn't need it. And again, um, yeah, I'm just hemming pinning things together so I can see how it will look once everything and I'm just trying to mark up the pattern the lines where the patterns are and I'm just going to take my uh, marking tool and mark where I put the pins so that she's able to take this off when I'm done uh, with my alteration. So once I have finished my observation with Crystal, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use my ruler as a straight edge and I am going, coming from the front, this is the front of the jumpsuit, the pants of the jumpsuit, I am going to mark up from the seam that is already there up to the mark I pointed where her vagina is so that the crotch, so that the pants, the crotch area of the pants sits better on her from that angle you guys get what I'm saying and I only cut away the top layer the back part of the jumpsuit was fine it set great on her booty it was too tight it was too loose and now I'm just going to seam rip down the legs the seam rip I am going to rip away the seams down the legs of the jumpsuit so that I can reline up the crotch area and then I'm going to do a stay stitch and then I'm going to back and do a zigzag stitch finally closing off that um, area there.
as you can see me now I am sewing up the sides of the top of the jumper of the jumpsuit just sewing up those sides bringing them in as well as sewing up the top um, shoulder of the jumpsuit now that everything is fitted on her and I like and we both like how it's fitted now I'm going to attach the waistband. I'm not going to create a casing for the elastic waistband. I'm just going to attach it right to the jumpsuit because of course I will be attaching a um, top and I like the length that the jumpsuit is and where it hits. So I'm just going to take the elastic starting from the middle and I'm just going to uh, take pins and attach it to four areas so basically that when I start sewing I can stretch the elastic so that it could gather the fabric to create that cinch waist that jumpsuits have and you can see me here I'm just pulling the elastic taunt not too tight not straight. I'm not pulling the elastic too tight not giving it all out of whack just Taking it and just pulling it a little bit so it could give so it could give a little bit so it could create a gather effect around the waistband. And I use a zigzag stitch for that. And now you can see I am attaching the top of the jumpsuit, and I'm just gonna take the tank of the jumpsuit, the top of it, and put that right sides together. So basically the, the pants are inside out and the tank of the dress is right side out. So that when I put the shirt inside of the pants upside down, the right sides are facing together. So when I turn everything inside, right side out, everything is where it should be. And again, as I sew this, I pull on the elastic just so making sure that I match up the pattern and the pins of where I tucked of where I pins the elastic and the, the waistbands together now because this is not a stretchy material I have to put in a zipper so that crystal can be able to get this on and off and over her butt and hip areas so I'm just seeing ripping open the back that seam was there previously this is was the original back of the dress and I just seam ripped it down so that I could attach the zipper I do wish I had a black zipper but I didn't and we was pressed for time so you guys have already seen me insert a zipper and you already heard my struggles on explaining how to insert a zipper so I'm gonna be quiet now and just let you watch me sew Once the zipper was inserted and Crystal tried it on for a final time, I am going to create a casing for the elastic. First, I cut away the original hem because I didn't want it to create bulkiness and with the finished hem that I will be creating. And I cut both of those off both legs, making sure they're even and they're match up. So we have the same length, so we don't have no lopsided um, legs. Taking the elastic, I fold it over the fabric so I can have the correct measurements. So I won't have too much or too little for my casing. And I'm just going to pin that around the circumference of the leg hole. Once I have created my casing, I'm gonna go in with a stay stitch around the circumference of the leg. Leaving a little gap, so leaving a little opening so that I can insert my elastic through. And to insert my elastic, I'm going to take uh, my elastic and attach a safety pin on the end of it. And I'm going to insert that through the little opening that I left when I first sewed the casing. And you're just going to slide that all the way through so you get to the very end of, so you get to the beginning 
of where you first inserted the elastic making sure not to lose that um the ends of the elastic inside the entire casing once I have that together, I'm just going to sew a zigzag stitch to keep the elastic in place from moving around. And then I'm going to cut off the excess and then I'm going to close up the opening that I left to insert the cast. And after I inserted the elastic, I finished everything off with a simple roll and tuck off all of my raw edges around the neck hole and arm hole. And then I finished off all my seams with a zigzag stitch so they have a nice clean finish, as well as put some fray, no, fray check, fray check on my seams because this fabric did um, quite, this fabric did fray quite a bit. And after that, guys, you're done. So I'm going to stop talking now, and I'm going to let my friend shine. Thank you so much for watching, Stylers, and always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Oh, right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, 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 wait, wait. Oh, 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 I'll be again. I'm trying to mark. Okay, take up. Yeah, Okay. Okay. You go. <laughs> so today's video, I read bus. <laughs> okay, falls. <laughs>